I grew up in central Massachusetts in a small town called Leicester. It's right next to Worcester, if any of you are familiar. My parents met in a train wreck. My dad is a race car driver. Um, he's not totally retired, but he isn't doing it as often uh, these days. Primarily he works doing metal fabrication these days for race cars, so building roll cages um, so that if they flip over people don't die. Um, I guess one thing is that my dad was all about pursuing the thing that, that he felt driven about. So I definitely take that to heart and, and I'm trying to do that in my own life. 24 hour comic day is a thing that happens um, once a year where a group of people get together and do a 24 page comic in 24 hours. And I did it last year with my friend Mary B. Uh, she was my writer, and I was I was the visual person. Um, and I actually don't know anybody else who worked with a writer. Everybody else was doing their own kind of autobiographical thing. Um, I wouldn't have made it through if I hadn't have had a writer and a, a particularly talented one at that, I should say. Um, so basically, you show up to a space where everybody else is also working. And, um, you know, people kind of just start putting things together as soon as the timer goes off. It was a really intense experience. Um, we thought that we were going to do, you know, as long as we could and maybe do like something more simple to just kind of get done in like 12 hours or something. But no, like both of us stayed till the bitter end and were there for 24 hours straight and it was, it was intense. So last year I worked on Tori Amos's comic book tattoo for Image Comics and that project, um, I was working with a very talented writer named Chris Arendt um, who actually got me onto the project and the concept behind that was that everybody in the book was doing a piece based on a different Tori Amos song so Chris wrote a story about the song Glory of the 80s and I did a story, I illustrated a story um, for that and it was a really huge project to be a part of. There were 90 creators on the book. That was one of those things that was like, the pages were um, 12 by 12 and we had to do them at 600 dpi so I was essentially making 20 by 24 comics, which is the largest size I've ever worked in in comics before, and it's a full color book. So um, it was one of those projects where it was just like you have kind of carte blanche, but it's also really daunting in in how how much there is to it, and um, it's very high profile as well. So um, you know, it was I was just so honored to be able to work on that with so many other like really talented um, writers and illustrators. Um, my full-time job is as a front-end developer doing HTML and CSS, so I have this highly technical kind of um, side of, of what I do as well, and it's kind of interesting keeping that balance of, of doing these like really creative things and then also doing this kind of um, not very visual, um, while still being visual, uh, code aspect of things and trying to bring all that um, together, which is I think why I'm so interested in blogging um, and, and the web world is, is that I, I, I'm a developer. It's not easy um, and it's kind of a struggle that I've, I've had for a really long time in my work where I am simultaneously like obsessed with things that are really clean and perfect and things that are like weathered and rotting. So um, I actually recently had a discussion with um, my bandmate about um, about that very problem and I was also talking about um, how I feel about electronic music and um, also um, strings and um, other things that would typically be thought of as more, you know, um, timeless, classic, um, old instruments. Um, and uh, I was talking about the problem that I've had in other bands where I want to do something that's equal parts electronic and 
equal parts um, antiquated and how a lot of the time I can't find a balance between the two with my other bandmates because people don't quite understand what I'm going for and he uh, he was like star you realize that this is the same problem you have with your visual art like it's all the same thing of this blending of things that are old and things that are new.